Brad Ray was on pole position for the first race of the show down here at Alton Park with overcast conditions, but it was a rocket start for Jason O'Halloran, who got the whole shot into turn one ahead of Tommy Bridewell and Brad Ray with Peter Hickman in fourth. As they went down the hill into Cascades and moved from Tommy Bridewell, he'd certainly thought about it and then made the move eventually into Shell Oils to get himself into the lead of the race. Brad Ray, though, was not holding back. He went through on fellow Yamaha rider Jason O'Halloran and then waited just a couple more corners to go through on Tommy Bridewell to lead. And that was the last they would see of the championship leader looking for his 20th podium and eighth win of the season. The battle for the podium it looked like it was between four riders at this stage with O'Halloran and Bridewell fighting away and Peter Hickman ever present. O'Halloran went through on Tommy Bridewell. A lovely move to go up into second place. Taz McKenzie was trying to fight through further back as well. Hickman then had a go onto the podium. He went through into Old Hall Corner but went wide and on the cutback Bridewell came through and Bridewell then got back up into second again ahead of Jason O'Halloran. Brad Ray was checking out out front. He was two or three seconds clear. And then the drama started. Taz McKenzie managed to get himself through on Leo Haslam, but then dramatically crashed at Shell Oils. And then on the final lap, this move from Peter Hickman. He got excluded from the results, but crucially, Jason O'Halloran has crashed out through no fault of his own. He's absolutely fuming. That left the checkered flag to Brad Ray. He's picked up win number eight of the season. Second place was Tommy Bridewell. And it was third to Leon Haslam, his first podium since we were at Alton earlier in the season.